Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this motion graphic bicycle animation on just PowerPoint. First go to shape and pick a hollow circle. Then just holding the control shift drag it over here like this. Now move this yellow dot to make it thinner. Now go to format, click on shape fill and change this color to white. Then go to shape outline and make no outline. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate this one, holding the Ctrl Shift, resize it, place it in the exact middle and then just move this yellow dot to the right. Holding the Ctrl Shift, I'm resizing it a bit more. Then pick a rectangle shape and make it like this. Then place it in the exact middle, go to format click on shape fill and change this color to white and go to shape outline make no outline now press ctrl d to duplicate this rectangle and place it over the previous one now holding the shift key rotate it like this way again press ctrl d and rotate it we need to repeat the whole process until it looks like a perfect wheel here our wheel is ready now pick a oval shape and holding the Ctrl Shift, make it like this. Then go to Format, click on Shape Fill and change the color to red. Then go to Shape Outline and make no outline. Then again pick a hollow circle and holding Ctrl Shift, make it like this. Then go to Format, click on Shape Fill and change the color to white. And go to Shape Outline, make no outline. Then select all the shapes and press Ctrl G to group then press Ctrl D to duplicate and place this one here from here select this hollow circle and make a copy of it then place it here holding the Ctrl sheet increase its size now move this yellow dot to make it thinner place this one in the middle of this two wheel now select these three shapes and place them in the middle of the slide then move this wheel to the right a bit and this one to the left. Now from here select a rectangle and make a copy of it. Then place it here and resize it like this way. Now pick a rounded corner rectangle and drag it over here then increase the roundness and resize it. Rotate it like this way and place over here. Then go to format. Click on shape fill and change the color to white. Go to shape outline make no outline. Now resize this one and place over here. Then press ctrl D to duplicate and place this one here. Now increase its height like this way. Then select this one and press ctrl D to duplicate. Now place it over here and make it like this. After that Again, make a duplicate of this, place it here, rotate it and then resize it like this way. Then take it a bit upward and again make a copy of it. Now place it here and resize it like this way. Now I am resizing the height of this shape a bit more. Then make a duplicate of it, rotate it and place over here. Now pick a arc shape and holding ctrl shift make it like this. Then place it here, resize it, go to format, click on shape outline and change the color to white. Now click on this small icon, from here increase the width and then change the cap type to round. Here I am increasing the width a bit more so that it matches with the other one. After that, pick a oval shape and make it like this. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate and place it over here. Resize this one like this and place over it. Now select this two, go to format, click on merge shape and select subtract. Now go to shape fill and change the color to white. Then go to shape outline, make no outline and place this one here. Now I need to duplicate the whole slide so press ctrl D to duplicate it and from here we just need to select all the shapes and press ctrl G to group. Now back to the previous slide 
and from here we just need to add the animation so selecting the first wheel go to animation click on this drop down arrow and select spin now click on this small icon go to timing from here select the duration one second and press ok now to copy the animation select this wheel click on animation painter and paste it on this wheel then just set start with previous now select all the shapes from here click on add animation and select disappear then set start after previous to watch your animation status you can click on animation pane now go to this slide and from here select this bicycle and press ctrl x to cut now get back to your main slide and press ctrl v to paste now from animation select appear and set start with previous after that again select this new bicycle click on add animation and from motion plus select line animation now from effect option select right then holding the shift key drag this red dot like this way then set start after previous and the duration 0.75 seconds and we are done here our animation is ready you can download this template for free i have given the link in the video description if you have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you like and subscribe this channel and don't forget to share with your friends hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching